We're in Hopedale at the mansion. <laughs> yeah, the guy painting the fence. See the guy painting the fence? With a fucking hand spray? Yeah, I'm not kidding. So, this is an overlay job. This was an old beat up court. If I have video or pictures from when we came to pull the post out, I will insert it here. But we had that done. We had uh, BK Paving came and put down two inches of top on it. Did a fantastic job. Now we are here putting the post sleeves back in today. We did six of them this morning over at the other place. Now we're doing a couple here. So this ground is going to be a lot more forgiving than the other ground that we just worked on. So this should go way faster. Whoa! Oh, yeah. There's a lot of We don't want to run the hose to it because we don't want this concrete dust all over this court. So we're just adding a little water at a time. Keep the, keep the drum cool. Yeah. This one's not seven inches of asphalt like the last one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. go like this I come back up and work the outside of the hole that kind of shades down the core it helps it slide out of the drum better so every once in a while you back it off do like a half turn also it works great with under the weight of the handle just the weight of the handle is enough to give it Enough down pressure to keep moving. Is that sand coming out of there yet? I that's, think so. I think that's, that's how you know when you're done because you'll see the sand. Well, you, sometimes you'll hear gravel inside the, inside the bit or the drum, but you'll see the spoils that come out will be different. So, I think it's close. Yeah.
Sounds like we're in dirt now. get the core out that's what it looks like this was an overlay we already uh, dug out the old posts so there's three inches here but if you move out past where the posts were you're probably looking at it being closer to five or six inches so now we have to take the post leaves which are these right here we set these up 23 and a half inches into the ground so that it's only a half inch above grade. We bell house the bottom out, or we call elephant foot it. So it, uh... Now once we break through the ground, use an auger. Loosen up the dirt. Whoa! Good thing I got that on camera. forgot to fucking start the video all right so go ahead we mix up the sauce we put the post in we make sure it's in the right spot then we run our little mixer thing we fill it up three quarters of the way we let it harden and we throw a little bit of gravel and then some asphalt on top of it you never know so this is the way we do it versus saw cutting out a giant hole, much neater. You're able to do a lot more with it when it's done. So um, we let this set up while we're loading up and then we'll, once the concrete gets a little strength to it, we'll come back out and uh, put a level on them, make sure everything's nice and level.